Listen to this. This is important job information. Peter Rayburn's vision for the paper industry, preventing closures through proactive strategies. The closure of significant portions of the paper industry at Maryvale in Gippsland, Victoria, Australia, has raised concerns about the effectiveness of the current union's handling of such situations. This report aims to highlight how Peter Rayburn's proactive methods, outlined in his aspirations for the paper industry, could have potentially prevented these closures. By embracing a proactive, consultative, and sustainable approach, Peter Rayburn could have played a pivotal role in safeguarding jobs and securing the future of the industry. Proactive union representation. Peter Rayburn's approach to union representation emphasizes proactive measures over reactive responses. Unlike the questionable and deceptive practices of the current elected union, Peter believes in working tirelessly throughout the year to achieve key performance indicators KPIs, and provide a proactive service to the industry's members. By prioritizing the members' interests and actively engaging with industry stakeholders, Peter would have been better positioned to prevent the closures by addressing challenges early on. Consulting with lawmakers. One of the essential aspects of Peter Rayburn's vision for the paper industry is consulting with lawmakers to shape favorable policies. By actively engaging with legislators, Peter could have advocated for policies that support the industry's growth, incentivize innovation, and provide long-term sustainability. Through effective lobbying and collaboration, he could have influenced decisions that prioritize the industry's interests and prevent closures due to unfavorable regulations or inadequate support. Community engagement and promotion. Peter understands the significance of community engagement in building support and trust for the industry. By effectively communicating the benefits of the paper industry and its contributions to the local community, he could have created a positive image and garnered widespread support. Through community partnerships, awareness campaigns, and transparent communication, Peter could have gained the community's backing, making it harder for closures to occur without thorough consideration of the consequences. Labor and resource efficiency. Peter Rayburn's aspirations include promoting labor and resource efficiency within the paper industry. By implementing measures that optimize productivity, minimize waste, and reduce environmental impact, Peter could have created a more resilient and competitive industry. Through investments in employee training, embracing technological advancements, and sustainable production practices, he could have positioned the industry for long-term success, making closures less likely. In conclusion, Peter Rayburn's vision for the paper industry, with its proactive, consultative, and sustainable approach, holds great potential for preventing closures like those witnessed in Maryvale, Gippsland, Victoria. By prioritizing proactive union representation, consulting with lawmakers, engaging with the community, and promoting labor and resource efficiency, Peter could have significantly contributed to securing jobs and ensuring the industry's sustainability. It is crucial to embrace such a vision to overcome the ineffective and reactive practices of the current union and build a fair, inclusive, and thriving paper industry for the future.